Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Devon Tread One Star Wars Limited Edition. You can see this one of 500 Star Wars inspired digital watch on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen to see additional photos of this watch with its Star Wars themed accessory set and, of course, complete pricing. Now, I say this is a digital watch, but not in the electronic sense. It literally has fiberglass reinforced nylon belts jumping past individual apertures for the hours, the seconds, and the minutes to display time in a digital fashion. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that this watch is absolutely huge. It's less a watch than a sort of wrist instrument or a black gauntlet that simply envelops your forearm. Now, the bare dimensions are absolutely immense, Death Star style. I mean, 62 millimeters is the measurement essentially across the case. You can see the Thai bomber inspired winglets. They do extend the already immense Devon Tread One case to 62 millimeters across. And then from lug to lug, when you're talking about the outermost rigid outcroppings of the articulated strap, you're actually talking, are you ready for this? 68.5 millimeters. I've had to actually zoom the camera out to capture this watch in the frame. Now, it's thick, but maybe not quite as thick as the bare measurements suggest. 28 millimeters thick. A lot of that is the upper outcropping, as you can see, of those winglets on the side. The watch isn't quite that thick on the wrist, but make no mistake, this thing's not fitting under any kind of sleeve. I don't care if you're operating a snowblower. This is immense, and it feels it. Entirely stainless steel with a black DLC treatment. The watch is is very substantial. It feels like a premium product, but this is guaranteed to make an Hublot Big Bang, even a King Power, look like a Vacheron Constantin Historique 1955 Ultra Thin. I mean, this thing breaks the mold in every way. Now, in terms of how it works, it's probably best to do some quick remedial Devon Tread 1, because Quite frankly, the Star Wars content itself, while outlandish, doesn't quite overshadow the simple fascination of how this movement works. Now, it is digital. You can see it's now 555, appropriately enough, and it has a constant seconds function, which you can quickly disable. After you press the crown in once, it sets the time. It actually has a power reserve when the watch is inactive. You can disable constant seconds by turning the crown slightly counterclockwise. Now, if I want to reactivate constant seconds, I turn the crown counterclockwise again, and it resumes its ticking. Now, if I want to turn the watch off, I press the crown, press a little bit more, and the watch reverts to a sort of inert mode. It's sleeping. It's not off. It's still keeping time. But what happens is the aperture right here on the three o'clock side effectively becomes a reserve de marche, measuring between 100% and an empty lithium ion battery. The watch has potentially two weeks of power reserve, though more typically about 10 days maximum, depending on which modes you're setting, how often you actually actuate the on and off function because it does require a good deal of power. Now, bring the watch back into commission and I'll demonstrate how the setting function works. Now, the setting function is pretty straightforward. If you turn the crown counterclockwise to activate constant seconds, turn the crown clockwise, and you actually activate the setting function. Works like this. Now I can set the minutes, turn in the opposite direction, I can set the hours, press the crown, and now I revert to constant seconds mode and the time is set. It's actually quite simple and quite intuitive. The watch is very easy to use, although it does require a little bit of sort of crash learning if you're used to conventional mechanical watches because this is a different world. I mean, you can see just looking at it, the watch is clearly a combination of Darth Vader inspired themes and a watch concept that was already completely off the wall without the Star Wars branding. Now, the watch is part of a limited edition. There were actually two flights of Star Wars watches built for the release of last year's Star Wars reboot and one of them, one of the lines was built by Nixon. These were excessively priced watches. 
The Devon Star Wars watches, headlined by the model you see here, are anything but low-end. This watch had an original retail of $28,500, and quite frankly, in the hand, it does feel like a very substantial, high-grade luxury piece. All of these watches are actually built in California by Devon. One of the great things about it is if it ever needs service and you're in the continental U.S., you're looking at less than a two-week turnaround. Compare that to any Swiss high horology house. It compares quite favorably. Now, the watch is different on many levels. It has a thermocompensated, what might be called a super quartz movement, but in terms of how it displays the time, it's got a good deal of actual mechanical mechanism in it. You can see the watch has a number of belts, again, fiberglass reinforced nylon, and each one is actually held in position and monitored by a combination of an integrated circuit, electric motors, ruby pivots, and an optical sensor. So it is a very precise piece of equipment with over 313 individual electrical connections. This is a different kind of handmade horology, a little bit more Silicon Valley than Valley de Jeu, but make no mistake, the content is impressive. Now, again, this is a love or hate piece with no middle ground. It's a fantastic effort by a company that is not afraid to be different and was that way long before the Star Wars reboot co-branded with them. You can see this outrageous Devon Tread One Star Wars Limited Edition. Buy it, own it, on our website, watchyouwant.com.